I get to I grew up on the better part just based off of the gas stations. Like I can mathematically calculate how dangerous a neighborhood is just by walking into a gas station. Like if I walk into a gas station and they have more hot chips than regular chips, <laughs> then I know my chances of getting shot have gone up 60%. I like, I like going to restaurants in different areas and I usually go out to eat alone. So I'll carry my notebook with me and write little joke ideas. And I notice that depending on what type of area I'm in, people, people will try to guess what I'm writing. Like if I'm in like a hood kind of area, people are like, I bet he's writing raps. You know? But if I'm in like a nice uptown Starbucks, people are like, I bet he's writing raps. <laughs> One time a girl at a coffee shop came up to me. She was like, hey, um, are you writing poetry? I was like, no, I'm writing raps. So, fucking hit my notebook. She tried to peek over to see what I was writing. She was like, why does it say jerk off right there? I was like, don't worry about that. The streets is crazy. We jerk off there sometimes. Like, I don't, I don't smoke weed too often. I know my face says otherwise, but I don't. <laughs> I used to be a real angry kid, man. Like, people would say something dumb, immature. If you wanted to fight, they'd be like, man, you grew up like that last night. I'd be like, what'd you say? But weed, weed mellowed me out big time. Like, that first hit, I was just like, man, you can bang my girl, bro, no problem. <laughs> I'll introduce you. I like her, so you'll love her. <laughs> weed might have made me too mellow, though. Like, I'm too calm now. Like, the other day, a little fire started in my kitchen, and instead of, like, getting on it and getting water, I kind of just came to terms with it. <laughs> I was like, sometimes people die, man. <laughs> yeah. We just finally getting legalized, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Gay, gay marriage. I think we and gay marriage got legalized the same way. I think some dude with a lot of power just put it in their mouth when they're like, this is nice. <laughs> it should be legal. <laughs> it's making progress, man. Everybody, everybody's cool with it now. You know what I mean? Everybody. Even people who don't like weed, even people who will never smoke, they're cool with other people smoking it. Nowadays, Non-smokers talk to weed smokers the same way straight dudes talk to gay dudes. They're like, hey man, I don't particularly like that stuff, but if you do, it's all good, you know? <laughs> Just try not to do it right in front of me. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy it's getting legalized. Texas has not legalized it. Texas legalized CBD, which is like weed, only without the weed. <laughs> It's kind of like they legalized Lucky Charms without the marshmallows. <laughs> I don't think mine is. We, we wanted it to get legalized. We was like, hey, we would really like sex. And they were like, we'll give you dry humping. <laughs> I went out to eat with my buddy. And to avoid the lecture he gives me when I eat burgers, I ordered a salad. Because you can't lecture a salad, but I was wrong. You can lecture anything. Because uh, I, I get this salad, and he's like, hold up, dude. I got to stop you, because you're pouring a lot of ranch and croutons. I don't know if you knew this or not, but that got a lot of carbs, and carbs turn to sugars, and sugars make you fat, and all this stuff, right? He's like, I don't know if you knew that or not. It's just real unhealthy. And I didn't know that. That was interesting. So I looked at him and I said, you shut your mouth because I will choke you. Because I don't know if you knew this or not, but if I wrap both my hands around your neck real tight, you can't breathe no more and that's real unhealthy. Like, I, like, I was walking through, through the mall with a girl and I noticed there was a group of guys that was really staring at her. And I was like, hey, do you want me to say something? And thankfully she said no, because I had no plan. <laughs> but it's the way she said it. She was like, huh, what? Nah, no, happens all the time. I don't care. And right when she said that, it hit me how true that saying is. Girls get who they want, and dudes get who they can. 
Because if the roles had been reversed, I wouldn't have had that same response. <laughs> There's a group of girls looking at me while I'm with a girl. In my head, I'm not like, huh, happens all the time. <laughs> If even one girl is looking at me while I'm with my girl, in my head, I'm thinking, I could have both? <laughs> I'm too afraid to try cocaine, because I feel like anybody who's ever tried cocaine either really loves it or just really hates it. Like, there's no in-between. Because anytime I ask somebody if they've tried it, they always say, yeah, but it's not for me. Or they say, why, you got some? <laughs> Up, dude. I've been looking for a car to buy on OfferUp. Uh, when people were selling cars, they get real aggressive sometimes. Like I saw a post, it was like, price non-negotiable, price is firm, serious inquiries only, don't waste my time, no stupid questions, stupid questions will be ignored, don't waste my time. I asked that dude one question. Who hurt you, man? <laughs> Had a baby a while back. Aww. Yeah, stop, stop, because I want you to notice something. Uh, like two people clapped, one person awed, everyone else was just honest. <laughs> Three people were like, congrats. Everybody else was like, you fucked up. <laughs> I did, man. I, uh, I did recently have a baby, which, which is amazing. I love it. It is scary that I'm in charge of like teaching them things, guiding them through life, but it is amazing to watch him learn things. Like he's walking now, he knows how to ask for food, he'll cry when he's angry. I was like, I've taught you all I can, son. <laughs> From here on out, we learn together. <laughs> My old car has like a lot of problems. Like for starters, uh, the passenger seatbelt doesn't work. And that kind of sucks, because that means, like, if I, if I am able to get a girl to ride with me somewhere, like, she has no choice but to be my ride or die. That was just, <laughs> those are your two options. I got a baby boy, and I love buying him sneakers all the time, because I'm a bit of a sneakerhead. Like, last month, I went a little crazy. I bought us, like, ten pairs of shoes, five for me, five for my baby boy. He's not a size nine yet, so I wear his half right now, but I like being a dad, man. He does embarrass me sometimes, though, because, you know, he's walking now. We walk through the mall, and when we walk through the mall, he stares at everybody we walk by, and whenever he sees, like, a really pretty girl, he'll let go of my hand, walk up to the girl, and then ask her to carry him. And then I got to be like, hey, I'm sorry. I think my son just wants us to have sex. <laughs> Nah, I don't do that. <laughs> but it's an honor to be here, man. My grandma who raised me, she was a huge fan of comedy. In fact, if you would have told her that one day I'd be standing in front of you at the Addison Improv, she would have said, que, because she didn't know any English. <laughs> this whole front row is like pretty white, except for this guy. Where are you from, sir? India. Oh, so this whole front row is just tech. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Heidi. Heidi? I follow you on Instagram, so I follow you. Oh, shit, hell yeah. <laughs> Heidi, I'm gonna block you, you freak me out. <laughs> Talking to this side, man.